Wednesday. All right. Welcome back, everybody. I pray y'all are having a wonderful, blessed day as we waking up doing what, baby J? Proclaiming instead of complaining. All right. See, my title says it could have been worse. It could have always been worse. This video is um, for the complainers. I want to just tell you a little something this morning for everybody out here that love to complain. I want you to think with me on this subject. It could have been worse. On a daily basis, there's a lot of people out here complain about so much. And you know uh, the most high is protecting us every day from things we don't even see coming our way. So many things that 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 car wreck that happened that could have been you, but it missed you. You don't even understand that. You was guided. You was protected. And when you keep complaining, you will never proclaim. You are still here. You mad because you was late to work because that bad car wreck held you up. But you were still able to go to work. While the ones that was in the car wreck, they didn't make it. They bringing out the body bags. That was somebody's mama. That was somebody's daughter. That was somebody's son. That was somebody's daddy. But you complain because it took you an extra 30 minutes to go to work while you still have a job. Somebody out there right now don't even have a job. Why you mad at your boss? Some just wishing I had a boss. Yeah, I wish I had a job. It's many out here people just wishing they could be where somebody else is in a good way, you know? But you got to proclaim instead of complaining, baby Jay. See, we wake up full of joy. He wake up clapping and singing, and, and he got enough sense to wake up and be like, I'm thankful. He hear them birds chirping and make you sing, don't it? Now, if them birds can wake up singing happy, not worried about nothing, baby Jay, what's wrong with us? Tell me what's wrong with us. Can you tell me? You proclaim instead of complaining. Amen, brother. Uh, so, when you think about what I'm saying, though, y'all, you got people out here putting in applications, going online, driving all over, doing all they can to find work. And you got some people out here, they're they not doing nothing at all. But it's a blessing to still be working in the way this economy is right now. It's a blessing to have your health and strength right now. It's a blessing to have your children. You got to, you got to, if you really want to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? If you really want to think you doing bad, look at somebody else doing worse than you are. Think about that. You complaining about your children, and there's somebody right now just buried their children six feet in the ground, just had another funeral. You complaining about that cold you had because you've been sick all week, but you could be in the hospital. You could have died in the hospital. You know how many people go in the hospital, baby J, and they don't make it out of the hospital? He almost didn't make it, but he made it. It could have been worse for you, but the most time brought you on through, didn't you? Now look at you, a year old now. <laughs> but I tell you, it's a lot to be thankful for, y'all. It's a lot of children out here complaining because they didn't get the new shoes they wanted, the new clothes they wanted. I wanted them shoes. And then you got children out here that don't even have no feet. They don't even have no legs. They fighting with cancer. They they trying to trying to find happiness somewhere. They want to go outside in the sun and just, just play around, but they can't because of their sickness. While your child is able to go out and run around and do all kinds of stuff, but being locked up in the house on the cell phone, somebody will catch that later. It could have always been worse. You think you're doing bad, baby Jay. Look at somebody else. You could have died yesterday. You could be the one fighting with cancer. You could have been the one lost your job, lost your house, lost your mind. So instead of complaining, proclaiming. I know some children that that they they just lost their mom and dad. It's a mama right now had to bury her son or her daughter. You got plenty of food to eat, but you still complaining. When I know somebody right now eating out of trash can right there at the end of the street, better proclaim. Ain't that right, baby Jay? 
you complain about what you what what you don't have, but in reality, you got everything that you need. And when you focus on what you don't have, you lose focus on what you have that you need and already blessed with. So it's like Baby J said, that's our term. So the word for the day, yeah, it could have been worse. Give him a smile. It could have been worse, couldn't it? All right, we're going to sign off. Say bye-bye. You going to say bye-bye? Hey, wait. Bye-bye. Just wait. No. He's still not looking. There you go. Tell everybody bye-bye. Say, it could have been worse. Hey, Amen, y'all. We're going to get on out of here. Say peace and many blessings. You sleepy. Mm-hmm.